Guys, remember that overexcited meal, the one that ran across my hand, like like down my back and on the and on the, the down the <laughs> down the other hand. Yeah, that male tarantula mated with both of my females, the Monocentropus balfouri, and today he I see him like dead at the, the side he lived a long life guys he lived a long life and for those who don't know i keep mentioning off and on in videos that male tarantulas they don't live very long now for an example right monocentropus belfori where's my female can't really oh you can see a little bit of her but yeah monocentropus belfori females live about 12 to 15 years i believe and males about maybe three four years yeah around there so yeah as you can see he has passed away and it's not something to be super sad about because it's just nature and he did not die young this was actually a sling that i got when it was like less than a centimeter like like super tiny and he has unfortunately expired and well at least he's done his job impregnated the females hopefully because i mean oh what is on his butt is that like Oop, those white stuff i don't even know but yeah guys he has been expired and it's just the way it is what is this was he trying to eat some 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 like like cocoa husk thing i don't even know man but yeah that is the end of him pretty much another dead tarantula but this one is just nature because he is old and man look at his abdomen Look at that, like matured male abdomen, super tiny. You can see his paddy palps right there. Man, such a pity, but let's hope. Fingers crossed, man. Fingers crossed that he did his job well and impregnated the females because then we can have a lot of baby tarantulas, which I am pretty stoked about. I'm not exactly sure. Like the other female is over. Let me just put him at the corner over here first. Not quite sure what I'm going to be doing with him. Maybe preserving him. I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments below. But the other female, the first female, remember the one over here where we paired him and then he ran all across my arm, down my back and down the other arm. Yeah, this female actually started like, like, look at that. She sealed off her entire entrance and I'm really hoping that she has an egg sac in there because this was the first female that this guy paired with. I'll link that video down in the description below if you like forgot or you haven't watched that. Yeah, but yeah, um, this one, how many times have I said yeah in this video? No clue, but yeah. <laughs> Anyways, this female has pretty much sealed off her burrow. I cannot see her. I've not seen her ever since. Yeah, after after I've paired him with her, she was in there for... Alright, it took her about a week. And then she started sealing off everything. Man, stuck web. But yeah, the web is pretty thick. And I can't seem to get my finger in. So that is a good sign. A very, very good sign. And for those who don't know, this is actually a cow skull, which she completely covered in web, which I really like. That is why baboons, man, you gotta love them. Unlike these terrestrials, they don't they don't web at all. Like baboons, I mean they are terrestrials, but they are pretty heavy webbers. But for like these guys, this is my Lassidor Striatopes. Yeah, nothing much. They pretty much just do that and that's just gonna detect food. Like, let me show you. Let's grab a roach over here. Hey, where are you guys going, man? Come here. It's time for you to get eaten. So yeah, pretty much these are... Uh, oh my... Okay. What was that even? Come on, roach. Get eaten. Oh my gosh, this tarantula is so scared of roaches. Man, whatever, man. Bad example. So yeah, um, that is pretty much it. Just wanted to show you guys that this guy... Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I dropped my dead tarantula by accident. But yeah, you don't want to drop a live tarantula by accident, okay? Don't, because they will die. Like, there's almost a 95%. Yeah, I, I don't know statistics. It's just my statistics, okay? Stop judging. About 95% of time, when you drop a tarantula on the floor, they're going to rupture their abdomen, and that's not going to be a happy ending. So, you can see this male. I'm not exactly sure. Wait. Yeah, he, he did not die very long ago because there's still no smell. But you can see his abdomen's like super tiny. And I left this male in with that female. And thankfully, she didn't grab it for dinner because usually Balfouris, yeah, they, they don't grab their meat for dinner. So yeah, I pretty much left him in there and hopefully he did his job for us. 
but man his abdomen <laughs> just look at that man it's just so squished up no this is not the sign of dehydration i think he died like a day before so yeah maybe it just shrunk down for some odd reason now you wouldn't want to touch the new world tarantulas like this because they have urticating hairs this male monocentropus balfouri they are from socotra island which is why they're called socotra island blue baboon which is i don't know in africa is it i don't know my geography kind of out but they are old worlds which basically they don't have the urticating hairs you can see his paddy palps over there that's how another way you can tell that they are matured males because not all matured males have uh, what you call that hooks so yeah and oh yeah okay we're done with this male okay we're done with this male for this video unfortunate but comment comment down below you guys what should i do with him not sure i'll probably put him in the freezer for now and yeah, either preserve or bury or I don't know. Just comment down below. But yeah, I also noticed that my this this tarantula over here has not been eating. Okay, wait. My sister's outside and shh. Let's not let her know that we are recording. So yeah. <laughs> this is something new. Anyways, my what do you call this? This tarantula? did not want to eat for so long and hell to the freaking yeah we have got a molt and this tarantula i bought it as a female yep a confirmed female oh my gosh look at those colors by the way this is my tilt to cattle kallenbergi and yeah let us sex this molt and see if it is in fact a female confirmed female fingers crossed guys fingers crossed let's get this open yeah we'll do it beside the male look at the size difference though that is insane oh man this guy's like doing yoga what are you doing man look at that size so yeah that's the size of the male about five inches and then this is the colin Berge. okay so i'm not sure when this one actually molted i think it was like last night so it's not too crispy yet let me get this open. There she goes. <laughs> so I guess now we can continue filming with normal voice. <laughs> well, yeah, anyways, I managed to get the abdomen open. And I did mention earlier, I just mentioned earlier in this video that you want you don't want to like hold the New World Tarantulas like that. But then I did to open the abdomen. I just used my hands because this one, she molted not too long ago at the, at the most, right? It was just one day. So it's not as crispy. And the good news is, you guys, we've got a female. You see the little flappy thing over there? Yep, that is a female. So I did not get scammed. Heck to the freaking yeah. <laughs> I did not get scammed. So that is awesome because I did get scammed before and that is not good. I don't like that. Okay, in you go to the Molt Haven. So this is my so-called Molt Haven. Look at the amount of molts that I have. And this is not even the amount since I started keeping tarantulas. This was probably like for just over a year i think yeah that's crazy i wish to have another same tank like same size tank on top of this once this is full and two tanks full of molds they actually looked pretty dang cool what do you guys think so yeah like i mentioned just now comment down below what i should do with this guy over here rest in peace buddy hopefully you did your job well